Hello everybody, welcome to my foundry only run, and as the name suggests, we're going to only use the foundry. No other weapons. We can use our abilities. Um, yep. Yeah. Our primary damage source is going to be our goblets and the scrolls, as well as a passive uh, feature of the foundry. I'm going to explain once it applies. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know about it, it's really something that really does not happen because you don't run out of ammo that quickly in Godfire Reborn. Alright. Let's see. Currently our damage is 145. Now our damage with the foundry is 166. The reason for that is because the foundry is always has always has the level of your lowest weapon. So we just keep one weapon in our inventory at all times it level it up. And our foundry is also going to level up and get slightly stronger. Not that much, but slightly. This allows us to be somewhat competitive with our weapons. Only somewhat, because normal weapons still do a lot more damage and have um, inscriptions, which Foundry doesn't have. But it's fine, I think. Um. We only do this on the Elite, not on any high difficulty, because I don't actually know whether this run would be um, possible on any high difficulty. Nightmare runs in general are a pain, even normal runs, and while reincarnation is fine, uh, it also depends. Right? We are going to attempt to do all four stages, because I think uh, all four. What was I going to say? Uh, all for floors or stages. I mean, you could call them stages at the same time. They are not called stages, like four areas. It's probably the best way to describe them. And yeah, that's it. I took this because I. Um, because poison is one of the few effects that I can actually do. Right? Due to only playing with a foundry, I can't really have that many uh, elemental effects. But this character has poison in its uh, set, so I'm going to use it, and I'm going to take it with me. I could also sell it or something if I need to, but that's quite nice. Negative effects and making things slower, I think. I don't actually know what it does. It's nice to have. Um, one of the goals that we have is that we get somewhat tanky. Because um, while the weapon damage might scale fine-ish, the ammo doesn't scale at all. I can't think of any uh, specific scrolls that buff my ammo count. Only some which uh, reduce ammo usage, but even then, there's still a very high likelihood that we need to reload. This means that we lack damage over time for the final boss. And just generally against some of the more tanky things. So we want some tankiness in order to take it. I mean, we're going to see how much I lack here. Right. Having an actual weapon could allow us to do damage, but we can't. And so we have to play with this. Thing. All right, let's go. Let's go. Wow, I can't use any of these. Now let's see. These two are probably good. I'm going to take this. Having regeneration is really powerful. Especially since I just talked about the 
uh, importance of playing tank stuff and being a bit tankier. We're going to upgrade, so we now have a level 4 weapon which does 230 damage on base. One of the other things that we uh, like to get is lucky shots, definitely, because it's one of the things that are actually available in scrolls and uh, they buff our damage by a lot. I actually don't know how much stat buffs, uh, how much damage buff a lucky shot gives, but it's it's a bit. Right? So having some option to consistently trigger them would be very nice. Also, other things I've found is that uh, it's actually uh, very nice to just pick the um, cursed scrolls because uh, this weapon is so default that a lot of the cursed weapon effects don't even apply to it. Right? Like having a downsides for elemental effects or having less reserve ammo doesn't matter if you're playing uh, this weapon. So it can make design-wise sense to uh, take them with you, even if you don't have some of the benefits that they can give you. All well, the benefit scrolls. Let's see what's in here. Uh, this one or this one? I think this one's nice. I mean, I could go for more corrosion damage, but I think this is actually quite good. 15% is like, I think one ammo, I think. I don't know. Might be. And since I don't use any reserve ammo, it's practically... Yeah. It's, it's gives me things if I shoot at a medium uh, fire rate. Arguably, does not scale very well. Right? Wow. Please just snipe all of them. Up and it's both both surprisingly accurate and surprisingly inaccurate in my opinion. Right. <coughs> It's quite accurate if you don't want to hit your shots, or if you don't care, but if you really need to hit your shots, it's very inaccurate. Can't hit anything on long ranges. Which is a bit of a problem. Ah. Oh no. Um. I'm just gonna recycle it, really. I don't think it applies to me, right? This one, though, is far better. Though it does badly synergize with our uh, Shield of Dash. I still prefer it. Because having a higher constant um, move speed is far nicer for me to play with. I'm just hoping to get the uh, cooldown reduction. Also, there are tank items, so there's like that one tank scroll. I could see that potentially working out. I don't know if that has any value. There we go. Well played. Yeah, we're going to go for the orb damage. I can technically sell Ostrich Rider, or this one. 
but also I don't think it's worth it. Is there anything else here? No, it doesn't seem like it. So we could just go now. Boss stage is coming up. We're first going to look here. Extra copper is going to be nice, I think. I'm rather... yeah, that's better. I, I told you so. We don't need this, but... I mean, it's fine. And this is really good. More move speed is just kind of nice to have. And I get more damage. The elite assassin buff's actually really nice. I can actually just dodge most of these by simply just uh, moving. <laughs> this is funny. Now just give me the uh, scroll that grants me additional um, tankiness the more I... Uh, the faster I move. There we go. It's real speed for this build here, isn't it? Ooh. I'm gonna take it. This one. We're playing all builds. We just kind of want more stacks of them. One is not enough. That's fine. We only need to use it on the large enemies anyways. <clears throat> Plus a 10% buff. And a really high lucky shot chance on our crits. It should be any shot. See? I do it. I want the buff. Not only does it give scrolls, it also gives additional 10% damage. And it's just too good not to have it. Where? Oh, it spawns there. Oh god, this becomes problematic suddenly. Especially since I miss my shots. There we go. Ooh. Yes. We're just not gonna buy a lot of a uh, lot from handlers. We need one of the max shield, I think. It's nice to have, especially since that makes us faster. Ooh, okay. Store this. This one. It's not really that much worth, but I take it over not having it any day. God, my aim's really hurting because of the move speed. And I can get myself some upgrades. Now they are level 10 already, which is nice. Quite good, actually. Ooh. Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will lose the bonus speed, but it's more movement speed. 
Like, there's no way I can't take that. Also means I don't need that much tankiness anymore. If I'm really just doing it all for the move speed. Right? It doesn't matter how tanky I am if I can just dodge everything. I still think I should dodge most of these if I can, but... There we go. Nothing else left over, so I'm happy for that. One more charge, that's what we wanted. Two charges now. Uh, also recharge speed, possibly, later. There we go. Uh, take that immediately, it's another 10% damage buff. There is no reason for us not to take this, right? Uh, I kind of want to keep the two specs of the buff for when the boss spawns, because I think that'd be nice and beneficial. It has to be this thing, right? We are doing quite a bit of damage. Just don't run into me. Like it gives me free crits, which is 50% more lucky shot chance, right? This one. Shields are nice to have. High utility. Right. Is there anything up here? It sometimes likes to spawn the chests up here. Doesn't seem that way. And <laughs> they just can't hit me. That's just pretty funny. Ooh, there's stuff here. I can get this. There we go. No problem. The spell's actually really fun. No, nothing here. Oh wait, I was already. Yeah, I'm sorry. I remembered it wrong. It's my problem. Uh, let's pick it up. Yeah. I want to cast it very frequently, right? And I also have enough defensive tools, I think, uh, so that this kind of doesn't matter. Okay, let's do this. These are difficult because I can't protect them with my own body. Right. Quite a few of them literally will just attack this and can't do anything against that. You are actually concentrated on me, which is quite nice. <laughs> yeah. 
Enemies are easy to fight, at least in this type of uh, stage. I want them to focus on me because that's easier. Ooh, yeah, that's really nice. Not actually because of uh, normal enemies, but rather because it means that I can uh, fuck up uh, bosses easier. Alright, like what is it? 8%? Do you know how much time 8% is with some of these bosses? Right? Like it's a lot. Since I'm mostly uh, limited by my cooldowns, right? If I don't have any of my spells up, I'm not going to do enough damage to reliably uh, hurt them. I mean, as you can see here, right? Oh boy, I played that badly. I need to use these more frequently. I don't have to keep them to me. Maybe I should have chosen the uh, life buff, right? <clears throat> that could have been helpful. Okay, nothing here. Oh god. I mean, it's additional bonus damage, so I'll take it. There we go. See, that was the 8% kill. Without it, I'd have to fight for longer. I mean, it's not relevant in uh, that type of boss, because they're not that hard. But with a harder boss, it would have, would have been relevant. Right? And then it would be more than just uh, 20, I know, not 20 seconds, but like 5. Rather like a whole minute or something. The more errors I can make during gameplay, the better. Because I'm not playing perfectly. Nowhere close to it. I mean, you've seen how I fucked uh, my revive up. I'm actually going to shoot that at you. So that thing's far less of a problem than the sniper are. Ah, there you go. Easy. But there's more. I do really need to check whether I go for like the speed or for the other. Ooh. Um. Actually, no. It's not worth it. Even if I were to do it. This one, I think. I want the weapon hit. Plus 500% damage. Uh, if I get a lucky shot on that, it's really powerful. Right? If I, Even if I don't get a lucky shot, I'd still consider it really strong. I actually wonder whether the skill damage fits into that. Or whoever just doesn't calculate that. I don't know. Boss stage. Let's do this. What do you have for me? Yes. Worth it. It's a 10% loss, but it's also a 40% weapon damage buff. Oh, uh, well, actually... It's not going to be a problem at all, is it? Yes, yeah, this is... Wrong boss design.
I don't even think the negative effects don't apply to me, right? Because I have like, like one buff. Yeah, doesn't matter. How much is that? 13,000? Holy, I'm doing a lot of damage against that. Oh no. And that was the kill. Like, those 8% do matter. Um, let's be this one, I think. This, I do sometimes apply elemental effects. If I do, it's useful. Yes, actually. I want the tankiness, and even if I say 10% uh, less movement speed, I still have so much. But I don't think that matters. I want more shields, I think. Be nice to have. Like permanent ones, not the ones that I get from throwing my uh, grenades. Ah. There we go. Let's do that first, it's another 10% damage. Big thing, I get 60% damage buff on my main weapons from this. This is so useful. Whenever you get this on the first um, uh, floor or first stage, it's really useful. Yes. More capacity, right? I don't care about the cooldown. I have more. Huh? Ooh. <sighs> no, this one. I actually think the other one would have been better, but this is funny. Like, I can trigger it frequently. Also, I am able to do this on the other buff shots, right? Like, if I were to play well, I could just count and then use my um, orb on the 6 1. No. Yes. Backup shield. Really nice. It's a 5 buff, but that doesn't matter. The dash sandals are just kind of there. They're nice to have. I don't really use them. Not that be very viable in this loadout anyways, but... You get what I mean, right? Fuck off. Choosing the boring path here. Ooh. Level 16 now. Oh no, I have to kill that thing. Because bleed on these type of monsters is incredibly OP. It's probably the only thing that can could like reliably kill me, right? How many do you want?
Oh, wow. More damage. Nice to have. <laughs> the game is giving me free 10% damage boost, so I'll take them if it wants to do that. Right. Like, I don't care. This is good. This is also pretty good. I honestly want the explosions. More explosions equals more damage and stuff like that. Ooh. More percentage. Like, I'm just getting the, uh... I'm getting the permanent damage buff the size of uh, sixth. I got that one sixth upgrade. Perfect sixth. Yeah. Fuck off, please. Thank you. There we go. Look how nice having these executes is. Oh, ball. Ah, there we go. And kill. Very powerful indeed here. Alright, what else do we have? This one, I think. Um, this one. I do like the bonus buff, but uh, I won't take that. Where do they spawn? Up there, okay. Up there, as I say, as they move down a hill. Mm hmm. There we go. I do enough damage for this. Level twenty. I, mean, I kind of dislike that I uh, have this damage problem. Well, I can only trick a perfect six uh, one time. I want the money and I want the uh, shields. I want them now. And is it percent? Oh, okay. And that doesn't matter, does it? Actually, it does. It means that I can take more damage before my uh, speed drops. Less. So it's still kind of relevant. Please, I beg you, spawn another elite monster at the end of this. That'd be so funny, I think. Do it for the bit. Oh, no, sadly not. That'd be too funny, though. I get like 90% damage boost already, so it's still worth it. Uh, it's. This is good. This is also great. Increased by 4 meters. This is also great. I'm going to take this, because it has a higher chance of granting me a level 3 uh, buff and. <clears throat> the bonus buffs on level 3 are always really nice to have. Uh, max shield on armor. 122. Very nice. I don't think I ha actually really trigger heavy shield. I might do, I don't know. 
Uh, oh, I only have 400. I can't read. To be fair, there's as far as a six in there somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Right, so I can't read mostly. Okay, another one. Which is it gonna be? There we go. That was it. Oh. C. Oh, this is also really great to have. I'm going to take my chances. Right, it's going to make the other things easier, and I can get more charges in the future, right? I, I might get them. Hmm. this one. I will upgrade and I think there's a good chance uh, it's worth more to not buy the peddler. Like, the thing has to be really good in order to for me to justify doing it. Like, I'm losing 5%-ish somewhere, somehow. It's not one-to-one, -one. I am aware of that. Hello, Arrogant Lobster. Spanning in its face. A hundred percent damage passive. These things are so great, always. That's nice. Where? There's still stuff over there, so I'll just go and get it. Wow. I mean, the dash read doesn't matter. It's so slow under such a large cooldown. But move speed is way funnier. Okay, let's do this. Right, this works. Ah. Stop it. Nice. Okay, 38 minutes. We're quite in time, I think. Sucker punch. Take it. Definitely. Skill damage is always nice to have, and I already have a lot of skill damage, so uh, yeah. Helpful, I think. See, I told you I'd get more of these. Now do this, Mick. Um, I'll probably have to buy at least healing, so I lose ten percent. I know at least I I lose five, maybe ten. See, it works. Now there's three heads of it. Nice, and that's the 8% rule. Otherwise, I might have needed, like, I think, uh, one or more. 
Yes! So the cooldown buff doesn't even matter. And even more capacity, so I'm now at 6 capacity. 7 maybe. Yeah, 7 since I have 1 base. Makes sense, okay. Now let's do this. I think it's doable, definitely. Right, like, I'm strong enough. Everybody here is strong enough. Uh, oh, there it is. Another boss, so it's 10% uh, more damage. It's just so nice to have. I'll do this slowly, I think. Makes sense for me to do it slowly. Die. More funny stuff. Uh, I maybe just wait out all the six charges. I think just having them is better than not having them. Mm. Yes, more tankinists. Oh, it's nice. Actually, I'm not going to do it. I have the regeneration. It that should hopefully be enough for me. There we go. Very nice. Maybe. You can sell it. It's not worth it. Okay. Was that weapon level higher than normally, or do just level 10 weapons normally spawn at this stage? The big problem for me here is that uh, at this stage of the game, I mostly already have all of my weapons usually. I mean, I also have my weapons now, so yeah, but I just don't know the levels of the weapons that they usually have. That's a bit of damage. There we go. More coins. I want it. Well, that's a lot of damage. Very much ah uh, sniper. Ooh. Do you have anything for me? No. No. Oh god, I have to uh, somewhat do with the oof UFO. There we go, that works. 
I'll take it. Not that it's very much useful, but hey, having it is nice if I suddenly do electricity damage somehow. I mean, I have one electric weapon, I just can't use it. How much damage does this weapon do? 680? That's, that's a bit. Now it does uh, 710. 30 damage bonus, that's good. Right. Also, it's quite a lot of gold things, right? Like, I might drop this uh, before the end fight because the 300% dash cooldown is really bad. And it's only 50%. I already have a lot of uh, speed buffs, right? Okay, this is good. Fewer monsters with stronger attributes. I see that as an absolute win for me. Plus, I get rewards. Nah. There we go. Yes, it's weapon damage. I'll never say no to that. Oh. I should probably take the slow, even if it's uh, not fun. Not as fun. How did that not hit? Like, there's no way that didn't kill. I do actually have to um, wait a bit because I heard a UFO outside of there. I do a lot of electricity damage now. And what's the other one? Oh, it's the uh, go goblet. One. Okay, let's do this. Well, maybe I just heard wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. I should get the dodge. There you go. No revive, that's the problem. Otherwise, I think we're mostly fine. Do they fight against each other? Thank God, the sounds of the snipers are annoying. I know that you're charging up your shot. I'm aware of it.
There we go. <sighs> Finally. Okay, um we have enough so that we can just do this. No. No. Not now anyways. Questions now is it enough for the final boss? Which I don't know. It might be. There's a chance it is, but I don't know, and that's the problem. I'll wait till I have all seven of these. No. Since I buy three of these. 32. Now I basically have no money left even if I did this. Okay, strategies. Uh, I'm still pretty fast. I'll take it. I, I have enough tank items here that I think... Like, 10 seconds cooldown, uh, instant recovery, this one, this one, even this one. I'm going to be fine, right? Hopefully, hopefully. I'll actually only go up to 5. Now, I, I'll go up to se I said I'll go up to 7, and I'm going to go up to 7. Can't get over here. What, what happened? Was this a reload, was it? Yeah, I think it was. Happens to reload button. I thought there was something I could interact with there. Almost at there, at that level. We also have one really good strong buff if we hit. There we go. Final boss. The bear. Not a polar one this time, just a normal one. With magnetics though. There we go, we do quite a bit of damage. There we go. Almost at half. See, uh, I'll actually keep my attacks, uh, my energy stacks up, because that means I can potentially uh, kill him during his charge phase. Actually one. One should be fine, right? 
Oh, I do ha actually have this uh, have the execute, right? That should trigger soon. Okay. We're still gonna win this. Right, like this winnable. There we go. Nice. Skill issue, bro. Whoa, let's see how stats.